Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be doing another uh, unboxing today and a brief review on this Samsung 4K ultra high definition television. This is the UE40 MU6120 which is the 40 inch class. I picked this up at a quite a bargain price of £369. I thought that was good going so I just grabbed one in store and ran away with it after paying of course. So what are some of the specifications with this? Well, it's 4K Ultra HD, it's HDR, which is the better or more accurate color reproduction. It does have catch up with 4K streaming with Tizen. It's also got a picture quality of 1300 PQI. There is a TV Tuner Plus in there. We've got three HDMI. There's a whole load of other specs we can go through. Of course, a 40 inch screen, the LED edge lit, which is not the best technology, but I've not really had a problem with this. Its native resolution is 3840 by 2160. And there's all sorts of apps available. Having a quick look already, I found there's YouTube and there's um, all the stuff that a lot of the other TVs don't have. So let's get in this thing. -de -de -de. Well, I try not to cut my legs open. And uh, what's the first thing that we come across? Well, Hmm, it's this black plastic thing. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like the home hub. It must be part of the stand. It's incredibly hard. And what else have we got? We've got a bag here with all the gubbins in. We've got our remote controls, cables. Let's get in here and have a look at this remote control. Let's slice our way in here. And a remote control is born. Now time to liberate the giblets. Hmm, what have we got here then? Really not sure what this is. La -dee 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 -dee. Hmm, um... Is there a way out of this little bag? What's going on? It's like sellotaped. It's uh, sealed. I'm not really sure the best way to get in here. Super job! I hope it's not fragile, whatever it is. I really have no idea what this part is, but a quick search on the internet shows it to be some sort of compact flash adapter. If anyone's still using compact flash cards. Don't know. Let's have a closer look at this remote control then. Uh, easy enough to get in. Yeah, tear this open and it does come out. Right, well, it looks like a pretty standard Samsung remote. I've had Samsung TVs for years now and they've all looked similar to this. I was hoping this one might have the voice control button on it, but it doesn't. So no voice control with this particular TV. That's on the very high-end Samsung, so let's pop that down. What else have we got? Well, we've got various cables in here. Um, let's try and get in here without slicing my hand. There we go. Let's get this one out. And we've got our power cord. Yes, box standard. Nice Samsung band around that. We've got some barcodes and or IRQ codes. Ah, oh, that's quite nice. A little 90 degree figure of eight type of socket there. Let's get rid of that one. And what else have we got? Well, I'm just looking to see how this stand works out whether there's yeah I'm really not sure about this big hard piece of metal whatever that's for not metal it's a piece of reinforced plastic here uh, we've got some yellow connector with some uh, colored sockets so would that be a component and your video and left and right channel there mm, may or may not be useful and we have another similar lead here with uh, blue and red and a barcode and I'm not really sure what that one's for either. To note, no HDMI cables or any actual valuable cables and we've got a set of screws here, M4s, length 14 mils. This will be for assembling the stand. What else we have our accessory kit. Is this the manual in here? Let's have a look in this Samsung booklet. No, it's not a manual. It just shows you what all the connections, that's quite nice. We've got a little diagram here of the various connections on the back. What is this? I've just noticed this. 
We've got some uh, Mastano batteries here. Not heard of Mastano myself or mustardy batteries. Maybe very, but they feel like they're made out of paper. These are uh, not good. What does it say? Alkaline. I don't know what it's got written on there. Let's see if I can get a focus. Super heavy duty. What else? Yeah, I can see Mast Mastang. Is that a G on the end or an O? Mustang or Mastano? Don't know. Not very happy with those batteries. You'd think we could uh, get a nice pair of batteries sent for this remote. Hopefully the thing's so energy efficient that these batteries will last forever. Right, let's try and get these in. That just slides down. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Two individual single battery component uh, compartments. I don't know why that's good. In they go. Note it doesn't slide on from the end. It kind of sits on top and then clips in. And that's a remote. Right, let's get this polystyrene out of here. And what do we have hidden back here? Let's get my... Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, it's a boomerang. Look at this. I've got a free boomerang. Uh, it's not a boomerang. What is it? Yeah. Hmm. Right, so now it's time to liberate this television. It's not too bad. Let's not break it. Please don't break it. Let's uh, get this box out of the way. And uh, yeah, well, here we go. Let's liberate this from its plastic wrap. I wonder if this is how robots will come in the future inside a cardboard box wrapped in some sort of foamy stuff. You just strip the foam back and, uh, well, they may be naked or they may be clothed, but I'm not really sure. All right, let's get this one out and carefully take it from here. Probably a two-person job um, or a person and a robot if I had a robot. Well, I have K9 in the back corner here, but he's not really been very helpful. Damn it! I'm gonna have to look at this manual, see how this stand goes together. Uh, dee 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 dee. It seems the wrong way around. Oh, the manual was upside down. It helps if it's the correct way up. Uh, get rid of that junk. All this junk inside my trunk. And uh, yeah, have a quick look. Ah, that's how it goes. It would seem we have to screw this bit to this piece. Um, like so. Yep. Yeah. And then this four screws in there, and then and then we just whack four screws in here. Right, we've got our energy efficiency sticker. Seems a bit pointless as it took energy. Where shall I stick this? Uh, stick it here. I'm not going to stick it on the screen, am I? Right, time to power this thing on for the first time. Let's power it up. And wow. It's magical, it's playing music and it's turned off again. Whoops. So, now for the setup. Well, it actually took quite a long time to set this thing up, clicking here, clicking there. I could have actually clicked skip to all of it, but I wanted to read some of these and it wants quite a lot of personal data. And after signing in, finally we're switched on. We actually have uh, the image here. And the image is nice and bright. The colours are very vivid and the picture quality is pretty good on this splash screen. Let's see if we can actually get something on screen here. Navigate down here, navigate up there and uh, let's click on something. What about Now TV? News, we've got Sky Sports, Disney, YouTube Kids, Deezer, we've got my five loads of stuff so the TV's ready and come on give me a picture click done what have we got well we're on and we've got an image and there's stuff going on whoa we're at war we're already at war there's dancing how is this doing this it's got no TV aerial plugged in but I am getting something streaming and it looks pretty good. I believe the image we're looking at here is definitely not 4K, but it's a very nice picture. Probably a bit bright at the moment. We'll turn that down. 
and uh, the color and the saturations all look good. So really quite pleased with this and it's buffering. That's my rubbish internet connection. Oh well, what can you do? I will be mainly playing local 4K content on this screen and uh, yeah, won't be watching this sort of stuff, that's for sure. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers, everyone. Bye.